Well, the political chaos in Pakistan does not seem to be ending anytime soon. The latest developments point to the crisis deepening further. Pakistan's Defence Minister Khwaja Asif has confirmed that the government is considering a ban on the former Prime Minister Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehri Ke Insaf. Listen in. Yeah. ये स्पॉन्टेनियस कथित तौर पे नहीं है कथित तौर पे ये बेसाख्ता नहीं हुआ कथित तौर पे ये ये एक प्लान के तहत सब कुछ हो रहा था इस बैकग्राउंड में इम्कान हैं और ज़रूर इसका फैसला कोई नहीं हुआ लेकिन इसका जायज़ा ज़रूर लिया जा रहा है कि पार्टी के ऊपर पाबंदी लगा दी जाए Well, the move comes amid political instability uh, long in the making, which has exacerbated further by Imran Khan's arrest on May 9th. Imran Khan's arrest from the premises of the Islamabad High Court on corruption charges triggered violent protests across the nation. In a rare and unprecedented move, several military facilities were targeted by agitated Imran supporters. The Supreme Court's relief to Imran Khan on May 11th finally calmed. the nerves on the ground but the political chaos has continued the pakistani establishment is now going after the alleged uh, participants of this unrest more than 7000 people have been detained during the protests and at least 19 senior pti officials have been arrested some in overnight raids on their homes uh, accused of instigating the violence many of the senior leaders were rearrested even after securing bail from the courts the defense minister of the incumbent coalition government says the pti has attacked the very basis of the state which has never happened before khwaja asif reiterated that such acts cannot be tolerated um, and giving in to the massive pressure built by the establishment many pti leaders are quitting the party the former minister and senior pti leader shireen mazari has quit even active politics altogether earlier on tuesday the pti chief imran khan blasted the government's claim that members of his party were being forced to leave at gunpoint he said speaking informally to journalists at an anti terrorist uh, court in islamabad imran khan said people are not leaving the party on their own but are being forced to do so The former Pakistan Prime Minister however maintains that he is not bothered about his key arrests leaving him he said he vows to continue the fight for freedom even if he stands alone And for more on the political developments in Pakistan we are now being joined by Dr Farid Malik who is a columnist and a PTI ideologue uh, Dr Malik thank you very much uh, for talking to us this evening now uh, you know many believe that senior leaders of the PTI have been arrested now there are talks of an altogether ban on the Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf is Imran Khan actually looking at the end of the road for his political career here not at all the ban has never worked in the past nor will it work in the future this has been tried several times in pakistan and also in india during the days of mrs gandhi also she tried during an emergency such is it these are acts of desperation and they never work if the, the party is banned they will they will form another group and they will contest the elections and they will win the elections are unstoppable inevitable and imran khan's popularity graph is on the rise it's not on the decline so nothing will change elections will be held and imran khan's party will prevail it's as simple as that malik you say that uh, but you know he is at the moment not in at variance with the civilian government alone you know he is now at the wrong side of the deep state the army the isi has imran khan really miscalculated how far he can protest against the establishment well uh, uh, to some extent uh, there is some uh, logic in that uh, but the issue remains that once you uh, are you are in for change and you want to change things around then naturally the forces of status quo they gang up against you but the primary fight in, at the at the ballot box will be between pdm and imran's party whatever it may be 
by whatever name or right. whatever banner they contest the elections. But are they going to be allowed to go to the ballot box is the question given the fact that they might be banned altogether. Senior leaders of the Pakistan Tariq Insaf are quitting. Whether they are actually quitting on gunpoint or their own volition, we don't know. Uh, but clearly, what next for Pakistan given there is no stability uh, that is coming out of any of, uh, of the discussions, whether the judiciary is involved or the army is involved, nothing seems to be working out. The arrests will make no difference. Mm -hmm. PTI has massive support, especially in the youth, amongst the youth. And if even if the arrest takes place, a lot of uh, young people will come to the fore and they will get tickets and they'll get elected and that will bring in the much needed change in our political environment in Pakistan, which is needed. So the arrest of senior leadership may in fact work for the uh, for the for the betterment of Imran's mission, and I strongly believe in that, and that might happen. That's why PDM is very desperate, you know, right. that that whatever if whatever they are trying right. to do is not working for them, because at the end the people of Pakistan have to decide, and the young people, which is 62 percent of our population, they know they have nowhere else to go. Imran is their only hope. Right. All right, Dr. Fareed Malik, thank you very much for talk, uh, talking to us this evening. Let's hope there is some semblance of order uh, that is put in place in Pakistan as far as its politics is concerned. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.